My heart got no cover, no condom Slow ties of what I thought we had in common Trying to move forward, but I'm starting from the bottom Let's talk about sex, baby, causing all this problem, problem, problem Love inside you. Have fun loving you. It's hard with the difficulties to be everything I need to be. But I have fun loving you. Hey world, what's up? What's going on? It's your boy Jastin, artist of the No Condom Podcast. I'm your host and music pro, but I also have my girl Kelly B. She's a MS warrior as well as a creative. Kelly, what's going on with you today? Hey there, Jastin. I am doing well this morning and I will say, I'm sorry, not this morning, today. <laughs> Um, hey, it's morning somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say um, it's been a busy week. Um, I finished my last assignment for my course this this semester. So, yay. Okay. So, I'm super excited yeah. about that. Um, although I was living in Struggleville uh, this month, but I made it through. So, <laughs> what about you, Justin? Wait, wait, wait. What, what, does that, what does that mean, Struggleville? Just... Trying to get assignments done. What? Trying to get assignments done. You know, I work full time and I've been up and down with my MS all month. So gotcha. I've been really struggling all week. I mean, not all week, but all month. Um, so, yeah, but I made it through. So what about you, Jason? What's going on? Shout out to making it through. I know it was a tough week for me, too. But before I go any further, I just want to, again, honor God to just being here for making it through yeah. and i want to honor my wife uh kelly i love you and the kids jason james i love you james rest in heaven uh so yeah i think when i look around when i'm talking to you know some of my friends it was a good week for everyone but i would have to say again i'm like equally blessed as well as equally challenged mm -hmm. so like you school I, Yo, I don't know how I'm pulling it because I really feel like I might need to depart for a while, but uh, my grades do not show that, you know? Yeah. So shout out to to my professor this month who's really been supportive because like you said, I've been struggling too. I don't know mm -hmm. if I'm gonna get these these assignments done, <laughs> um, but I'm grateful that I've been able to, to move forward. Uh, of course, you know, uh, Tag This is out and people ooh, ooh. are absolutely, I mean, showing love. And, uh, you know, it feels good. This one, you know, that one means a lot to me. So uh, I feel like I'm taking a little more personally, you know, when, when the feedback is is coming in. Mm -hmm. And then, yo, my Conscious Leadership Summit went very well. Hey. I did a five-minute talk online. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, it'll be out mid-November. So, you know, I'll be keeping y'all, you know, updated once it's out there so y'all can check it out. And then, of course... We can't forget it's almost November or it, it is, right? Um, it is November and the album's about to come out. Love of Darkness 2, my 10th album. Yay! So, you know, I'm feeling good about that. And then lastly, y'all, the startup Invictus, we still looking for folk, right? Like I'm trying to try to get people jobs out here, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Um, so again, y'all, if you have any skill as an AR, finding talent or social media, creating content. Whatever you do in that area, please hit me up. So I think, you know, roughly, Kelly, that's what's going on in my world. You know what I mean? Okay. So that is all awesome stuff. So I want to say kudos to you for everything that you're doing. That is so awesome. So you have a song that's out. And give us a little, you know, a little info, the 411 on the song you got out there. Yes, so I can't wait now to talk about Fun Loving You. 
And today's theme is about unconditional love. So this song, Kelly, I wrote this, I know, like a good 15 years ago. Oh, wow. I wasn't dating anyone. So if you, you know, when you when you hear it, I feel like people think that I'm talking about someone currently or it is specifically about someone. Mm -hmm. So I go ahead and spoil alert. I actually did not write it about anyone. It was actually, um, what's that word, foresight in just understanding how powerful loving someone is and being loved, but I'm right. talking about more so loving someone. Uh, and the challenges with that, you know, as a man, you know, dealing with women, y'all, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. And equally so, you know, on the opposing side, but from a male's perspective, it's, just understanding this love that we have for y'all, that we changed our whole lives and we trying to be better men and all of this. And and I was like, yo, let me write something that conveys kind of the duality of the the beauty. And then, you know, give that part of like, yeah, this, this is a little challenging though. Mm -hmm. So I do a little singing on it, you know, I do my thing. So I can't wait to hear this. It's a little R and B vibe. Um, so with that said, Kelly, you know, unconditional love, tell me what we're talking about on the hot topic. So that is exactly what we're talking about today on for our hot topic is unconditional love. And so we found a reel on IG um, of this woman expressing, uh, you know, how she will love her partner, her husband regardless of what career field he's in, you know, she is there to support him regardless. Come on now, that's what we need. That's what yes. we want. Mm -hmm. So um, with no further ado, I will- Roll the clip, it. Kelly. Roll the clip. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to start saying that. <laughs> what, what? I'm never leaving what? my guy for another guy just because he's got more than my guy. Because trust and believe, if I if I like you, if I love you, it's because I see your greatness. I couldn't it if you was a street cleaner at that time. I see your greatness. That's why I'm with you. I see the king in you. Come on, you could be a street cleaner for her. Yeah. She don't care, okay? Yes. yes. You could do whatever. Yes. Mm. That yes. just, it, ble it blessed me, Kelly. I'm yeah. sorry. She, she was hyped with it. And she was. That, that you could be a street cleaner. I just. <laughs> yes. So yeah, for for me, I resonated very much so um, with the clip because, um, you know, I don't think we put it out there, Jason, but we are married. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so given that you are an entrepreneur, you are pursuing your dreams, it definitely touched me because that's how I am for you. Like, I don't care what you do. Um, I believe in what you're doing and um, I will always be there to support you regardless. And yeah, it definitely almost, well, I mean, not almost, it did bring me to tears because that is definitely how I feel. Um, about absolutely, you absolutely thank you thank you i love you too i love <laughs> you too yeah it was just it's always powerful just to hear anyone but especially a woman talk that talk i yeah. mean it goes a long way and if i if, if i dare i speak for all men but we we want that type of love and support as we're navigating and we believe you know we want the same thing for y'all so yes. as we get ready to go into our next um, heart conversations for unconditional love paired with the song fun loving you kelly tell me why is it important to prioritize doing the fun things and having like a joyous i, I want to say moments but a joyous time in mm -hmm. your relationship how do you prioritize that yeah, I would say it's the little things. It's the little things such as like, um, you know, having fun together, having like game nights, taking like short drives somewhere, um, you know, even like, you know, movie nights at home, like you don't have to actually go out. For me, it's like, it's all about the quality time that you spend with your significant other. That's what 
beats of relationship joy. And then also being vulnerable with each other and being willing to um, communicate about the difficult things that you go through, because that also creates intimacy. So, yeah. And so, Jasmine. Yes. So, Jasmine. Well, I, I was going to, I was going to yes. say, Kelly, that, you know, this is the part where, you know, to give context to everyone, we're talking about post the honeymoon phase, right? Mm -hmm. um, and keeping that, keeping that up. So I, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. So Justin, I'm gonna throw that question back at you. So what about you? Of course, I agree with you. It brings, I think when you're, when you are focused on that and not allowing the routines of life to, you know, cause life, as we all know, we've been saying, life be life in it's it, it can be very challenging so you got to make that choice to do it but it mm -hmm. brings you know light into whatever's going on and it, it lights so like sunlight and right. then life into your partner right uh i love humor so i'm i'm always trying to make you laugh yeah. honestly without even thinking about it right yeah. but i do recognize the importance of laughter and mm -hmm. just having fun and then you know life is too short man it's we don't want to take ourselves too seriously right right you know I, I think you know i'm a very disciplined person like i'm about my business i like but i love to to have fun and and enjoy things and then you know it makes the challenging times because i don't like saying bad anymore the challenging times mm -hmm. easier to deal with yeah. right like if you can cut up joke find humor you know just whatever people do do it continue to do it because mm -hmm. it does add i think just a different value to the relationship and so you have to prioritize it you got to keep doing it you 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 can't sway you know what i mean you can't allow mm -hmm. these these crazy things in our lives to to keep us down so keep the joy up yeah you know what i mean <laughs> keep the fun up yeah so yeah i agree so uh what are some things or activities us or couples can do to have fun and stay connected through difficult times well first like we talked about already whatever you all do continue to do it mm -hmm. right you know there's certain things that the husband or, or boyfriend or whomever they they love to do if it brings joy to to them in a the relationship do it uh, like I, I'll start with that and then vice versa right right now my biggest thing and y'all probably gonna hear this a lot on the, on this this episode is communication to me they need to add that into the love language book they need to add you know add that one when the next one come out oh <laughs> with a, with a, uh, a more up-to-date version to me it's an intimacy that's necessary and it's versatile so communicating in a way that's fun like a 21 questions type thing that's still communication mm -hmm. but let's say if we're talking about you know i had a difficult day you know finding my next client or whatever right mm -hmm. i need to talk about that instead of keeping it in you know what right. i mean so to me communication is everything i don't care how you look at it what we're talking about what we're doing to be able to express what's going on means the world especially for me but i think a lot of people don't realize that so that's why i'm like if you ain't communicating y'all please please make sure that you are and then you mentioned a little bit earlier you know board games video games sipping paint mm -hmm. bowling i mean anything obviously that can keep you active but that you all love to do do it plan it schedule it i know you know we we've done a lot of that with scheduling so whatever happens you know that people enjoy i say do it yeah what about you what do you think uh can help keep those things up so um <laughs> i will say that now i realize communication is the big part of that um i'll put my business out there and you know say prior to jason um i was not a huge communicator and um so that is something that I've been growing in since I've known him and still growing in that area. 
So, um, so yeah, I would definitely say communicating is huge. Um, I know for me, given that it's something I struggle with, um, you know, I know a lot of people aren't well at verbally communicating. So if you prefer right. to like leave notes or write a letter or, you know, leave a little sticky note somewhere, like all that is like also communicating as well. So I would Absolutely. say, you know, do those things. Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, um, just, I don't know, take a long drive somewhere in it, you know, or take a walk, you know, one evening or, um, you know, you can have, uh, I know COVID's, you know, cases are rising again, you know, it's flu season. So if you want to have a sip and paint night at home, like that's the thing you can do. Like you don't have to actually go somewhere. Um, so yeah, I would say those are some things that, uh, yeah, movie night. Movie I know night. a lot of people would do that. Movie night. Uh, what well, we, we got like 50 million shows, you know, yes. right now. <laughs> so <laughs> that is definitely always fun. And so Kel, you, so you bringing up like all of these these nice activities that people can do and obviously a lot that we have done mm -hmm. you know so how often do you like to intentionally have this time uh or you know you think might be best for a couple oh i know my love language i know both of our love languages the top one is quality time so okay. um with that, I know I'm going to sound crazy, but I'm going to say every day. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I say that because, like, it doesn't have to be, like, something grand that you're doing. It can be something right. very small as, like, you know, like, for us, for instance, we both work from home. So sometimes, like, I'll go in, you know, Jason's studio and sit there with him while he's working and I'm working so that, you know, we have that time together. So it doesn't have to be something grand. It's something small, such as, like, you guys cooking together or eating dinner together or, you know, um, you know, planning out your day together. So I don't know. I mean, small things like that, I would say. It's how totally you be intentional. Agree. Yes, I totally agree. Uh, I don't think it's ambitious, it's ambitious that you said every day, <laughs> right? I do think, you know, I think you bring up a great point. I hear men say they often want to do something grand, like even just a proposal. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I got to. You know what I mean? And so I love that you bring that up because I, I couldn't agree more that it's really about the quality time and um, it, it it does more than you think. Yeah. That's that's all I'll say. It does more than you think, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so Justin, sticking with this lovely topic. So what are your favorite things to do with us spending time together? What are my favorite things to do? Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything you named. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, for me, communication is a big thing for me. So, like I said, being that it's so versatile, you can have these deep heart conversations. Mm -hmm. And again, it doesn't even have to be anything like per se negative. It's just, this is how I feel right now about such thing right right i come to you often with that type of talk uh but then it can be on some fun stuff you know mm -hmm. of course with social media i mean it's random stuff always that that pops up that always brings up good conversation or you know when i'm in the studio and i hear you laughing <laughs> all the way in here i'm like okay what what is so funny because i didn't make you laugh right like i have a problem <laughs> now right so just those moments of you know what I mean? But I love, you know, movies, of course, TV shows. You know, I know for us, uh, we need to get back on this because I think we haven't done it in a while. Your birthday coming up, so we'll probably probably do that. Uh, what's, the, what's the karaoke? Mm -hmm. You know, that's fun. Yeah. Neither one of us, can, well, I can sing a little bit. I can sing a little, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so that's, that's uh, a good one. I think uh, the walks definitely. I I can agree with that. I wish we lived at the beach because wow. that was another yes. favorite of mine. You mm -hmm. know, water walking, nature, sand. You know, it, it's it's always a beautiful time. You know what I mean. 
so yeah i mean honestly is is i'm pretty much open to anything i i think folks should be open but y'all we would love to hear that you know so definitely tell us that you know wherever you see um where you can comment i would love to know what everybody's activities are because mm -hmm. you can always you can always add add yes. some so so everyone our next topic is understanding your partner's needs and expressing your own needs so mm. justin what do you need most for me when you're going through a difficult time well it's this thing that i communication you know i i was gonna give you all a hold but it's communication right i told y'all y'all was gonna hear this word a <laughs> lot it's everything it's it's it really is i think a deal breaker for all it's just a lot of us don't know how to communicate effectively mm -hmm. and I mean, I've been around for some time now, so, you know, I, I really understand how important that is, regardless of what we're talking about. So allowing me to vent and communicate to you what's going on in my head yeah. is extremely important because I, well, this is what I put together. I, because I'm a creative and I express myself, I have to, I have to get it, get out. it out. Yeah, it, it's, it ain't too long that I can keep it in. Right. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's something bothering me, you know, especially, you know, with work or, 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 you know, whatever situation I have going on. Mm -hmm. So allowing me to vent, uh, I think the next thing I would say is helping with solutions. So, you know, being the man, you know, we the lead, y'all are rib. I'm all about solutions. I can, we, we can talk all day, but if we ain't making no solutions, I, that's probably like my 1A mm -hmm. <laughs> next to communication <laughs> is figuring out, well, what are we going to do about said thing unless, you know, it's just mm -hmm. about venting. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if this is, this got to be on my love lang language uh, list is just intimacy doesn't always have to be sex. So even, you know, some type of touch, uh, laughter, you know, as you know, making me laugh is, I mean, I love to laugh, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that silliness that, I don't know, you know, I always say cut, cutting up, uh, making jokes, whatever the case is, that helps. Even in a moment that may be challenged of what I'm expressing, right? Like you yeah. got to know the room, you know, you got to know what's up. Yeah. But those things can, can definitely uh, help. So I'm going to pass it back to you. What, what are things that <laughs> you need from me? <laughs> no, nah, but what what are things that you know you would need from me, and then what what do you feel like you know you need for yourself? Um, definitely, uh, you know, understanding, um, yeah, and uh, being open to what I'm expressing and how I'm feeling, because. Unfortunately, as many of us out here in the world, we are dealing with a lot and yeah. um, and a lot of things that we probably didn't realize sooner that we are, you know, dealing with and learning dealing to cope with. with. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I would definitely say that. And, you know, I know you you talked about help with solutions, but I know for me, a lot of times when I do come to you with things, I'm not looking for solutions. I just want yeah, you that's that to woman. listen. That, that's, <laughs> that's a ideal woman uh, trait. So fellas yeah. take note. Sometimes they don't, they don't, they don't need no solution. They just, they just yeah. want you to, they just want us to listen. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, I just want you to listen and I, you know, given that, you know, I do consider you, you know, my best friend, like I just I just want someone to vent to. So a bit, yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. of times, you know, I'm just venting. And um lastly, I would say, you know, a lot of hugs. Um Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like hugs. And um, you know, like you also mentioned laughing together. Um, so I feel like, yeah, that's that's what I need. Um So I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, I was going to say, so, and I feel like you probably 
may have listed this uh, kind of in this way, but you know, what's your top three needs from your partner? Mm. Yeah, it's got to be your top, your top three. I like was... you, like, I, and and for our listeners, I was gonna say, just so everybody really know, like, if this this is something that you would be upset if mm -hmm. I didn't do to put mm -hmm. it in perspective, right? So, okay. <laughs> so I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble. But I'm just yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. So I would say for me, my top three is what I need is regardless of what's going on, like, like you have to, you know, call me babe, like. I need to hear that. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Uh, Y'all, this new info for me. Uh, this is real time. Okay, <clears throat> go yeah, ahead. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me that. Um, you know, saying "I love you" is huge um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I don't know. For me, it's like it's like regardless of what's going on, it's like it's that I love you. It's like I got you. I got you. Um, mm. And then also. Um, you know, us laughing together. Um, you know, I would say those are my my top three. Absolutely. Now, for those that cannot see me, I'm I, I wrote notes <laughs> down. Okay, for her top three needs. <laughs> so, fellas, take notes. All right. <laughs> so, what are your top three needs for me? Man. Communication. <laughs> <laughs> standing on business, y'all. Standing on it, okay? Communication. Laughter, humor is a big one. And then I think, at least in this one, when I say leading, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think... What I've learned so much is I love to lead. I, I, you know, I have that instinct, but it's dope. When I see you do that, we're doing that together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I think it's a really dope thing to see. And then also, you know, I may, uh, which I have learned something in how you lead. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, so yeah, th those will be my, my top three. So okay. y'all, please let us know what are your top three needs in the comments, wherever you're listening to or right on the website. We want to know. We want to know because I, I might need to add, add something to mine or something. You know, I don't know. Okay. So this is a very, um, no, I feel like this topic can be very therapeutic for all couples, regardless of where you are in your relationship. So I'm I know because I feel, I, Kelly, I feel like this is more like uh, the therapy episode yeah <laughs> you know couples therapy if you will yes. which i'm fine with i'm fine with me too so, me yeah. too hope okay. we helping somebody out there yes yes so on that note i will ask you how can i how can i best support you emotionally during challenging periods um everybody say it with me communication <laughs> <laughs> it's just so important because as much as I need to express what's going on with me, mm -hmm. for me, it's imperative you do the same, right? So being able to express myself to you and know that you're listening, you're active listening, like you said, it's, it's a security for me as a person and as a man that we hear, we eye to eye. And I've noticed how important this is to me because when I don't or I wait too long or I decide I ain't going to talk about said thing, it eats me up. Mm -hmm. And so one thing that I know you do well is listen. And so that's been very comforting to me. And then also getting that in return. Right. So like there are, for me, you know, men a little different at least in, in most cases where I do want to hear what you have to say to what I shared, right? Mm -hmm. I don't, maybe I don't need a solution per se at that moment, but you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, I love to eat. You know, I'm a fat kid, even though I'm slim. I love to eat, you know, 
helping me realize too when I need a break mm-hmm. is is something that I, I really um I, I guess I feel like it it definitely is helpful to me, especially being uh an emotional person. Right. So Kelly, for you, this makes me think, you know, how do we balance supporting each other while also taking care of yourself? What do you think is some of the best ways to do that? Um, let's see. I would definitely say, uh, once again, you know, I know for us, our huge love language is quality time. So, um, you know, fitting that in, you know, as I mentioned earlier, regardless of what that looks like, how small, how grand, you know, having that quality time with each other. And also, um, I would say spending time by yourself is good too, because, you know, you don't want to be up underneath your partner all the time. Come on, get off of me. Go somewhere. So you ain't got nothing to do. (laughs) Right. So, I'm sorry, just... <laughs> yeah, so although both of our love languages is quality time, at the same token, we both enjoy time apart. So, right. you know, so that's important as well. And then I would say, lastly, um, you know, uh, ladies, you know, ask your partner how you can help them um, or, you know, if you are aware, well, hopefully you are aware of like what they like and things of that nature and what makes them happy, like do those little small things. It doesn't have to be grand um, to let them know that, you know, you're there and you're being supportive. Because I know for me, you know, with us, you know, one way for me to let you know that I'm being supportive and uh, looking out for you is making sure you eat. Like, regardless, like, you know, if you're not feeling well or if you're busy or whatever the case is, just making sure, like, those, like, little needs are taken care of. So, And I appreciate it because a brother will stay in the studio and be like, I, I ain't got time to eat. Now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. So let's see. Let's see, guys. We are moving on to our next uh part of this segment and that is expressing your own needs so justin okay. how can i communicate my own struggles without overwhelming you all right ladies i'm gonna give y'all the playbook right now okay now let me stop i do think this would be helpful because something just just triggered me as you were saying this <laughs> This is comical, but it's also real. We know as men, y'all can hit us with a lot. Mm-hmm. And it'd be blah, 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 blah. I mean, y'all be rapping as fast as Jay-Z sometimes. And of course, our nature is to fix things. Mm-hmm. We have solutions. We're problem solvers. And so when you are able to say, hey, I just need a vent," it's like, okay, cool. Sometimes you may not be able to do that. So we got to kind of figure out and take a beat and be like, okay, babe, do you want me to beat them up or you just want me to listen? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I say all that to say is just be yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, You can give um, insight to what you want to share or what's going on. In in my position, uh, just be you. You know, try to be calm because I know sometimes for me that roundness of like, oh, blah, 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 like you know, what I mean, it can be a bit much. Mm-hmm. And then you try to figure out even more. Mm-hmm. And so I would say, even you know, if there's any disclaimers that need to be made, say that so that way, you know, we know. Um, and then you kind of mentioned this earlier, saying mm-hmm. things. Uh, in any form, writing it, a journal, a video, like however you need to get out what you need to get out. Sometimes it may not be us in person or, or mm-hmm. talking together. Maybe you do need to just journal it and read it and I'll read it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So 
I think all of those things are are helpful. I think the best way is get it out, be you, you know, talk, talk about uh talk about the different things outside of this moment right. that you may need too. I right. think that is a, another helpful thing. So then that way when we need a moment, I I like, all right, I know what to do. I look at my notes. Uh babe, I love you. Here's a joke. You know what I mean? Like I know what to do. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, so yeah, great, great question. Yeah. So y'all, now we're going to move a little further into this heart conversation of unconditional love, which, which, is, which is paired to the Fun Loving You record. I can't wait for y'all to hear this. Um, this topic now, Kelly, is strengthening your bond, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. How can we build resilience together? Yeah. Yeah, I I would definitely say, I know this might sound cliche, but you have to remember that your partner is not your enemy, but you're working together, you're moving together as a unit, as a team. Um, So I would say keep that at the forefront of your mind, regardless, you know, especially when you're having challenging times, you know, you have to keep that in mind that you are a unit and that you are a team and that you got together for a purpose and for a reason that's grander and bigger than the both of you. And I would definitely say um, be supportive of each other. Um, You know, that's key, regardless of uh, how small or how grand it is. Um, As I mentioned earlier, um, Jason, you know, he is an entrepreneur. So you know, that was one thing I learned about him very early on. And I've always been supportive of that. And that will never change. Um, so I would say that. And also, you know, be honest with yourself and then with your partner about, you know, where you are in your relationship and where you, you know, see where things can improve and right. um and have those conversations because that builds resilience so that you two can get back on the same page and just keep you know trucking along um in life together so yeah i would say that I... and um justin uh what about you how can we build resilience together do whatever you say <laughs> 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 Somebody got jokes. <laughs> uh, you know. Balancing taking the lead. I think as a black male, we are taught that often in a way of like providing, and usually that's more focused on, you know, monetary things, protection. Those are the top things that most men are taught. Mm-hmm. And you know, you're you're the head of the household, right? But I believe that if I had this powerful woman with me, then she got to lead too. She lead me somewhere. You know what I mean? I think uh, as a man, we need to empower our women more. Like, of course, I'm going to do what I do, right? But I, I want you to be able to do what you do. And I think that's the beauty of having a partner. And so balancing times of of leadership and also leading together, you know, there's certain situations where, you know, maybe somebody goes off on one of us. We lead in the whoop they behind together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not that violent, y'all, but I'm just saying, you know, there are these (laughs) moments where we both are standing together. We both have to, to jump in. And then I would say communicate a plan, you know, say when you can't do something, even though there's exp- expectation that you that you are. Um, and then I think you said it as well, but if you need help, it's okay to say you need help, that you're struggling with something. And to me, all of those brings a, a truth and an honesty, you know, transparency. If if you can't be that with with your partner, then I think you can't 
go to the new levels of an evolving relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's it's imperative that you do those basics, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. So how can we maintain a sense of pos- mm, a sense of positivity and hope during those challenging times that we all face in relationships? Ooh. I often think about perspective. Mm. And I know when you're younger, even if you married young too, right? For everyone mm-hmm. that might be uh, you know, got married in their 20s or something your focus tends to change the older you get, right? Life be life in, you've experienced some things. But I think when we're in these challenges, these tough times, we tend to just focus on that. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a level, there's, there's a bit that we do in terms of finding a solution and all of that, but we gotta focus on the good. We gotta focus on what we do have and, you know, I know in a in an era where it's all about having everything now, be patient that it'll come. And so don't focus that it's not here yet, just focus that it's coming, right? Mm-hmm. So I think it's all about uh, perspective. What else? You can say how you feel, right? It's okay not to be okay, but just don't stay there. Yeah, I think that's something I learned very young when I went through the dep- uh, depression that I mentioned in college, I think uh, on episode one, and it was like, yo, yes, this happened. I was there for a minute, but I got out of it. So I think that's something else that, you know, having a partner that you got to be able to see. Sometimes your partner look like your partner want to stay in, in this bad place. No, no, no. Come on up. We got to like, what can we do? And then, you know, I think, again, it's a choice to be positive, to want to be positive, to have fun, to joke. It's a choice. Yeah. And sometimes I think we choose to stay in the misery and maybe what often feels most uh, comfortable because we're used to it. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. you got to make the choice to get out of it, move forward. What about you, Kelly? What do you think? I say for starters, you know, um, I'm going to put myself out there again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I will say that, you know, growing up, I, you know, I know I'm not the only one, you know, uh, but I blame Disney, all the little animation movies, all the romantic movies, rom-coms, <laughs> all that stuff, right? I lo- babe, I love my good rom-com, okay? Yes. So I say that because they all give us images that relationships mm, relationships are supposed to be perfect and they're supposed to be easy. Mm. But the reality yeah. is relationships aren't perfect and they're not easy. And so you have to change your mindset and remember it's okay if something isn't going right. It's okay if something is hard in your relationship. That that doesn't mean necessarily your relationship is going to crumble, but you just have to shift your focus and it is, you know, it's okay. It's it's all right. Um, And then, you know, as Jason mentioned throughout (laughs) the episode so far is, you know, communication. You know, always talk to each other, um, regardless of how heated the moment is, um, how sad the moment is, you know, always be open to talk to each other. And also, like Justin mentioned, and I mentioned as well, just focus on the positive. Um, Just because things are hard, that doesn't mean they're always going to be hard. And, you know, if you've been in a long-term relationship or been together for like 20 years, you know, relationship is going to have ebbs and flows. And then also just remember that, you know, have fun. You married this person, you're with this person, you know, and they're your best. Well, I mean, hopefully they're, you know, they're your best friend. (laughs) Hopefully. (laughs) Hopefully. (laughs) Hopefully. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, have fun and laugh together and make great memories together. And um, 
So, yeah. Wow. I love that. I really, I really, really love how you laid that out. And so we'll ask the audience as well, what do y'all do to stay positive in these tough times? Because I know even if you have a job, if you, I don't know, doing a lot of positive things, challenges will come. And of course, everyone wants the high life, so to speak. So y'all tell us, comment wherever you're listening, or just hit us on the website at jastinartist.com forward slash no dash condom dash podcast. And let us know. We really, we really appreciate it. We want to hear what y'all are doing to have this unconditional love or growing this mm -hmm. unconditional love. Cause Kelly, we know sometimes, boy. Mm. What what's uh love don't live here no more? <laughs> uh you know, the, the things that we may do as men or vice versa with women, like, nah, I ain't feeling you today. You know what I mean? <laughs> like go on somewhere, you know, whatever whatever the case is. Like, y'all, again, we keep in the real, okay? We yeah. we know these things exist. So let us let us know. So yeah, I would say um my final words for this episode is like. Justin said, communicate, 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 communicate. And what we have both been saying, just embrace the challenging times. Uh, remember to laugh and to love on each other. And that will get you through. Oh, oh, and I mean, okay. So we did not talk about this, but I will say this. Keep people out your business. Keep them out of your business. Um, yes, that goes for family too, your little friends, whoever, keep them out of your business. But yeah. Yeah. Be, be careful who you share your info with. Yes. So all we really appreciate you once again, this is our third episode, Kelly, we are trucking along yes. and, um, we, we couldn't be more happy. So you guys continue to download and stream the latest single tag this and if we go even further back no condom it came out over the summer and so guys with that we'll leave you with pray reflect and repeat enjoy the no condom podcast at jastinartist.com that is j-a-s-t-i-n-a-r-t-i-s do you miss meals mm, i don't think so so don't miss an episode. Be sure to listen to all the episodes at jastinartist.com and on streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, iHeart, Audible, and wherever you like to listen. You can also reach us by email at nc_podcast at jastinartist.com. Connect with us or share your thoughts on Instagram at no condom podcast. And a big thank you to our wonderful team, project manager Shantae Sharp and creative director Kristeny Leah. You can follow them both on Instagram at Shantae underscore Sharp. That's C H A U N T A underscore S H A R P and at Kristeny Leah at K R I S T A N Y L E A H. Thank you so much for listening and tune in next time. Enjoy the R&B love song, Fun Loving You. Peace and love. Have fun loving you, loving you, loving you.
the only one for you But it's hard to get everything right by you, by you, by you But saying I'm nothing without you Why for nothing? Is the highest frequency to your heart. The necessity to why we live, but it's not with ease. Sometimes that has to be in darkness. Sometimes it has no sight, and sometimes it's only light. And I want a woman to love not just for fun, but in the pleasure that she's mine. Her heart is a harvest for me. That's fun. So as I lay on his grace of wisdom, I want to love you, whoever you are. Whoever you are. Love me.